How's it going everyone? One Angry Soldier Gaming here. Uh, I am actually posting something a little different this time. I am posting a how-to tutorial because I received a comment from Unico2010 on YouTube and he says, can you show me how to record the full match with voice because I don't know how and I could have had some good videos. Please make a tutorial or something. Thanks. Well, um, <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain. It depends on the game capture device that you actually have. Most of them, like Elgato and Roxio and those, you need to have other hardware or equipment for it. It's possible that some of their updated software might have some features where you don't need that. What I actually have is the Hapag HD PVR2 Gaming Edition Plus, and it looks like this here. And uh, what this does is it has real-time pass-through um, which means that you can play it on your television and it will not have any delay or anything as it passes through but it will have a delay on your computer but what you do is you basically click on this um, you know you would uh, click on that link there under support let me go back to it to show you and then you click down here on the product that you have. Now, unfortunately, the regular HD PVR and stuff like that does not, the software, as far as I know, does not support that, but Hapog is working on that. So you click on the HD PVR 2 one. Um, that is if this is the one that you have. Then you click right here on Capture. Then once you hit Capture, it's got the link right here takes you directly to the software. They had a beta version up here, but it looks like they're done with the beta and they have just this one version, which is great because now the new version will record all gameplay in full 1080p, including the PS3. And before that, it would not support full 1080 with the PS3. But the good thing about the software, and I'm gonna have to show you because this is the best way I was able to record my computer with this thing, is by using the software itself. Right here, there's a microphone input. I actually am using my PlayStation Eye camera because it's got a built-in microphone that works really well. And once you plug your microphone in there, whether it's USB or regular mi microphone jack, you can select it right directly from here. If you're using the laptop with a built-in mic, they do okay, but the sound quality kind of sucks. But it would record this and this is how you would record your actual voice while you're talking to other people as far as having the actual you know sound coming from like the chat of other people that are talking it will record all of that automatically but what you need to do is make sure that your chat is coming through your television so all sounds and everything that you want to have on there has to be coming out of your television speakers that way the HD PVR2 can pick it up and you're pretty much set and good to go from there because there is no synchronizing there's no other software needed it's a really great feature to have so you know that's just uh, something to keep in mind whenever you use that and it's fairly easy if you do not have the HD PVR2 but want one they started around $159.99 and they go up higher it depends on which one you want to get the one that I got was around one I want to say 170 or 180 for that plus uh, paid for shipping and Amazon actually has a link for that where they order directly from Hapag um, and then they distribute it themselves and they usually have a pretty good deal on that so when you search on Amazon you should be able to find it there and they have different selections to choose from as well but if you get like the gaming edition plus um, it's the same as the gaming edition only it will do the full 1080p plus it will have the 5.1 surround sound with the optical out which is pretty cool but it's not a big deal to me I don't have my op optical cable hooked up to it for that so I'm not worried about it but other than that that's pretty much all you need but let's say for example you do have an HD PVR made by Hapog but you don't have the PVR2 Hapog is actually doing a deal where you can exchange it in and and I think the exchange rate exchange rate they allow is either 50% or 75%. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, 
you can you can browse our website here, hapog.com, to find out pretty much any information you need on that. And they're pretty good about uh, letting letting you know about things that are out there. But yeah, this new software that they have is a lot better than the original that it comes with where it uses ArcSoft. Many people have problems with that where it freezes up on them. It doesn't do good at all. It crashes all the time. It's a piece of junk. It really is. Um, but like I said, software, it's pretty self-explanatory. And the automatic default settings that come with it are really good. The only things you really need to mess with are right down here. You got your video quality, you know, um, very high is like 14 megabits per second. Um, and you want to do constant, you know, constant bit rate on that. Uh, keep all those settings original, and that right there automatically adjusts it for the best quality possible for there. You could do the advanced tab and record more, you know, like they have other options on there, but that is for advanced users only. If you make the wrong mistake or click the wrong thing, you can screw your whole video up and have to start over by going back to default settings. So it's recommended just keeping it where it was, where it's at, and that's what I do, and my videos turn out fine. Uh, so anyway, that's basically my tutorial there. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you like my video so far. And hit that like button as well. I could sure use the support. So anyway, I love you guys. Take care and happy gaming.